One of the concepts that has been coming up many, many times as of late in my conversations with people and my interactions online is the idea that within a culture, the stories that stick, that is the stories that people adopt and then go on to spread and that last for a long time are those stories that are useful to the people within that culture in that they provide information that allows people within that culture to survive. It's a form of natural selection, if you will, but it's a mimetic form that is with memes, with ideas, rather than a genetic form. But it really operates in the exact same way. That, those stories, those narratives that are valuable and help a culture to survive remain because through surviving and through spreading, that culture maintains and holds on to the memes in the same way that it happens with genes. So if there's narratives that don't actually help people survive, those narratives are thrown out because the people don't survive to carry on the idea and to carry on the, the meme in the same way that the gene happens. Yesterday, I tweeted a tweet that was a res reply or a response, a secondary tweet to something else that I had tweeted, where I mentioned a zombie apocalypse. And for some reason, that particular tweet resonated with people. It was like a secondary thought, but it resonated with people. And I realized that I had also shared, maybe a month ago or so, and I'll, I'll provide a link to it, a video that was done by this YouTube channel called The Jolly Heretic, where he was talking about a zombie apocalypse and saying we are in the woke zombie apocalypse. And it's pretty cool, but one of he also talks about this concept. And he says that he believes that the reason why these zombie stories all of a sudden in like let's say the last 20 years became incredibly popular whereas they hadn't been in the past was because somehow in our culture we knew that the threat looked something like this. And this is something that I've been writing about as well. It, it, my idea of the crypto savage deals with this, that the threat was not going to come from outside of our culture, but it was going to come from inside. This is also the scene, the woman in the red dress in the Matrix, the scene where he says, these are the people you are trying to help, but they're also your enemies. The idea that any normal NPC, any normal person could be taken over by a smith. This happens throughout the Matrix, right? That it's the smiths pop into people's bodies and all of a sudden they're a smith. And isn't that the same as the zombie apocalypse? And then the movie even Bird Box, where what was the whole idea of the people would, get, the, would see something, it was mimetic infection. They would be infected. It would infect their eyes that they had seen it. It would infect them, and then they'd kill themselves or kill others. But there was a group of people that was traveling around, like the psychopaths, who it didn't make them kill themselves, but what all they wanted to do was find other people and make other people look so that they would get infected and kill themselves. And in all of these, if you think the zombies, the Matrix, this bird box, why is the same pattern coming? Why the same pattern and then why does it stick? Why does it grip us? Why can you have all these seasons of The Walking Dead, for instance? And I think that it is because our culture, much like we, we're not conscious of how our immune system works, but this might be a mimetic immune system where it's playing these things out and actually teaching us how to survive as this thing happens. And see, I'm not even going to, I'm going to put this on YouTube and I'm not even going to get myself banned because I'm not even going to say any of the, any of the words, but you know exactly what I'm talking about. We are in the middle of a zombie apocalypse where what people believe and how people are acting and what they value now is totally different than it was if you go to 2019. And it's obvious. They've been infected by something. And for those people who are not infected, the question is, how do you survive the zombie apocalypse? Now, some people have said to me, because I got into a row with a certain other libertarian personality, they have commented that I have fled the fight. That yes, they recognize we are in a zombie apocalypse, the zombies are on the streets, and that I have fled the fight. That what you should be doing is you should be staying and fighting. But we need to take a look at what is the survival pattern for those who survive the zombie apocalypse. Do they 
as they see the zombies taking over in, let's say, a city, do they stay and try to shoot it out with all of the zombies? Or are the people who survive, the people who quickly get to a place where there are no zombies, establish fortifications around it so that the zombies can't get in, and then provi start providing for themselves in that calm, and then from there expand out the borders of that, killing zombies along the way and taking back the area. And we see this in every single situation. Why do they keep having the, in the narrative, in the story, what is it? There's a radio broadcast, always, right? That's broadcasting into the people who are stuck in the city. Because what's going to happen if you stick in the city? You run out of resources. If you stick where all the zombies are, it doesn't matter how many you shoot. It doesn't matter how many you kill. And what inevitably ends up happening is one of the people that you're with, you, can, you have to be solo in that. Because one of the people that you're with is going to get bit and not tell you, and they're going to turn into a zombie, and then they get you. Because what is it that the zombies ultimately want to do? It's not that they want to kill you. It's that they want to turn you into one of them. So it's from inside. Inside. So first you have to establish your perimeter. And the way to do that is you have to go to a place where there are no zombies. And what are those places? They end up being places like islands. They end up being in the narratives. They end up being places that are like walled off compounds. They end up being places that, that, but that are large and large enough that you can like grow food and do all of that. They end up being places that are, that can only be accessed, accessed by like, because of natural terrain, let's say on the top of a mountain or in a valley that can only, that's surrounded by mountains that can only be reached by a, a single path that can be defended, etc. First, you've got to move the scenario from one where the enemy is inside your walls to one where the enemy is outside your walls. You have to turn the zombies into the other. Because as the, the danger of the zombie infection is that it is us that becomes the thing. And that those people that we are interacting with or even reliant upon, that there is a chance that they can become that thing. And so what you see is you see an infection, but it is not the infection that you think it is. And it is not the infection that you are being told it is. And in some ways, it's actually that that is an inversion. The real infection is a mimetic infection. It's an infection of ideas. You are in a zombie apocalypse. And you have actually been told for decades now what the pattern is of those people who survive the zombie apocalypse. And it is not about shooting your way out at all. Eventually, if it's, it's about going to some place that you can fortify and prevent the zombies from getting in and then building there and then expanding out while keeping the zombies out, giving yourself the space to survive. This is something that you need to think about. Why has the story stuck? Why has the zombie story stuck? What was our cultural immune system trying to communicate by picking this story? They weren't popular before 20 years ago. They really didn't make up, zombies didn't make up that much of, a, of, of the piece of the cultural narrative. So worth thinking about, definitely worth thinking about. Why does it resonate with you? Why does this pattern seem to match? We're in the zombie apocalypse.